Hey guys, let's talk weather. It's still cold and rainy and I'm pretty over it. I'm ready to see the sunshine, but we have to add a rainy to our chart. So it has been cold and rainy all week long. I bet you guys are bummed out till you can't go outside and play. Okay, let's add another rainy. It's quickly catching up to the sunny. Look at that. We definitely, definitely needed the rain. We were getting very dry. And I was running out of pasture for my cows before the first frost. But still, I'm ready to see some sunshine. So, right now, Sunny's winning for the month of October. Um, Rainy's almost caught up to it, but it won't quite catch it. Because tomorrow's the last day of October. So, it didn't quite catch it. We'll see what November does. What do you guys think the November weather's going to be like? Do you think it's going to be a lot rainy or do you think it's going to be sunny? Hey, maybe we'll even get some snow this year. Who knows? Wouldn't that be great? Okay, today we've been in school for 56 days. Let's put our little thingy-majiggers here back. Put all of our 10 blocks back because we're fixing to do it again. Whoops. Okay, put all these guys back. Come on. Come on, be good. Okay, and then put all these dudes right here back. Okay. Now, how many tins do we have? Look right here, how many tins? We can build five towers of ten. How many ones? Or like little houses all by themselves can we build? With six. So, if this was a city and you were going to build it, you would build five towers. So, here's one, two three, four, five. Now what's special about these towers is we know every tower can have 10 families that live there because they've got 10 floors or 10 blocks that make them. The ones can only have one family. So these guys can have 10 in each tower and these guys can only have one because they're like little houses by themselves. We need six of these. Now, if you were going to count them, let's get rid of our drawing so there's no cheating. If you were going to count them, it would go like this. You would say 10 because there's 10 here. We know there's 10. So it would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we'd go over here and we'd say plus one more. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. So let's come down here and add a dot to our days in school chart. All right, let's come right here. We're going to add a little dot. There it is. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I mean, <laughs> I went too far. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I can't say 60 yet because this one's not full. So I have to say 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56 days of school, guys. So that is also going to be our number of the day. So I'm going to put him in the middle. 56. 10 less than 56 is 46. 10 more is 6 to 6. 1 less is 55. And 1 more is 57. Let's count by fives. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. We're also going to compare some numbers while we're at it. So let's do 56 and 16. If you were a hungry alligator, which one of these guys looks better to you? Definitely the 56. He's bigger, so the alligator is going to gobble him up. Let's look at a number bond. Now this is where you need to pay close attention to your number bond. All right, so let's put up 12. We're going to put up 7 and 5. Okay, and then we're come down here. And we're going to do our fact family here. So we have 12. And then we said 7 and 5. So our big number is our whole. If you were going to turn this into the domino, you would say, oh, there's 
12 dots all together on this domino. These are the two parts that it breaks down into. So it breaks into 7 and 5. When you add them together, they make 12. So since you add the do little ones to make 12, we know 12 is the answer over here. When we add, we know 12 is the answer. You can also subtract these two little parts from the whole. So when you subtract, your 12 goes first. We learned that this week, didn't we? Okay, and then we have our little small part. So we say 7 plus 5 can equal 12. But then we can swap them and say 5 plus 7 can equal 12. And then over here we take 12 and then we take away a little number. We take away one of our parts. So if we took away 7, what part is left? Yeah, 5. So over on this one, since we took away 7, now we need to take away 5. So we take away 5. What's left? Yeah, 7. And that, my friends, is fact family. Make sure you're practicing these. These are kind of tricky, but you're going to get them.